Hello friends, this video on sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let us understand what is metasporogenesis. Now again, it will be on the same lines as microsporogenesis. This is the process of producing megaspores. So the formation of megaspores is termed as megasporogenesis. They are all on the same lines. Gametogenesis is gamete formation. Microsporogenesis is microspore formation. Megasporogenesis is megaspore formation. Now, why is it called megaspore and why the male gametes are called microspore? That's because the male gametes are smaller in size when compared to the female gametes. So they are called microspores and the female ones are called megaspores. Now, what exactly happens in this process? The ovules differentiate to form one megaspore mother cell. So again, here also we have a megaspore mother cell. Mother cell means this cell is going to produce the megaspores. So the ovules will just differentiate. There will be no cell division. It will just differentiate to form megaspore mother cell. So here you can look at the structure. So where is the megaspore mother cell? So here you have the megaspore mother cell and these cells are the new cellers. So this is like a, an even more magnified diagram. So the new, these, it, is, it is all surrounded by the new cellers and this portion inside is the embryo sac. Correct? So this is uh, the megaspore mother cell. Now this megaspore mother cell is going to be deployed. So what will it do? It will undergo meiosis. So this is deployed. But what do we want? We want the female gametes and the gametes are always haploid. So deployed to haploid, we need reduction division. So it will undergo meiosis. What will happen? The result will be that four haploid megaspores will be formed. So this is called megaspore tetrad. Very similar to how microsporogenesis took place. So something of the sort. So if you see here, these are the megaspore dyads. So this was just one cell till now. That is one cell, that is megaspore mother cell. Now if you see two cells have been formed. So this is known as megaspore dyad. That means dye means two. So this is megaspore dyad. And gradually again on the next step, there will be four cells which will be formed. One, two, three and four. And these are called megaspore tetrad. Right? So here also a simple meiosis had taken place. Megaspore mother cell which was uh, deployed, it underwent meiosis and then four haploid cells were formed. And these four haploid cells were the formed in the megaspore tetrad. And how was the megaspore mother cell formed? It was formed from the ovule. So the ovule differentiated, so the ovule was also deployed and the ovule differentiated to form the megaspore mother cell. Now what happens to these four megaspores which are formed? Now, one of these megaspores develops into the female gametophyte. So if you see, it is not all the cells, only one of them forms the female gamete, not all of them, just one. Then what happens to the rest three? Let us suppose this forms the female gamete. So what is going to happen to the other three? The other three degenerate. That is, they just go off after some time. Now how that transformation happens, we will see that. So here you can say that one of these develops into the female gamete. So let us look at the embryo sac formation. So just now I was talking about the female gametophyte. So Female gametophyte is what? Female gametophyte is the embryo sac. So how the embryo sac will be formed, that is what we will see now. So this formation of embryo sac from a single megaspore is known as monospore development. So if you look at the previous slide, surrounded by the new cellular cells, there was just one megaspore. That one megaspore gradually formed the megaspore dyad. Megaspore dyad formed the megaspore tetrad. Now, out of those four megaspores, only one will form the female gametophyte. That means that one megaspore will form the embryo sac. Embryo sac is the female gametophyte, right? So now how this formation will take place? 
and this formation of embryo sac from a single megaspore is called monosporin development. Mono means one, spore refers to the megaspore. So development from one megaspore is called monosporic development. So now let us see how exactly this happens. So let us see how exactly this monosporic development takes place. Now what happens is that there were four megaspores which were formed, right? Now out of those four, only one is going to be functional. So what will happen to the others? They are going to degenerate. So the upper megaspores degenerate, but the basal megaspore is functional and this makes basal megaspore develops into the embryo sac. So if you see here, these were the four which were formed, four megaspores. So the upper three, they will all degenerate and the lower one that is the basal megaspore will remain functional and this basal megaspore will later develop into the embryo sac. Okay, just a second. In this case, where is your uh, tip? Which is the tip and which is the base? You remember I told you this is how the ovule looks like. So this is the base and this is the Tip. So in this case, this side is your base, that is the chalazal end, and this side is the micropylar end. So when I say that the basal megaspore is functional, that means this megaspore is going to be functional. And when I say the upper megaspores degenerate, that means the megaspores which are towards the tip, that is which are towards the micropylar end. So they are going to degenerate and this particular megaspore will form the embryo sac. And you already saw what is embryo sac. It is like a, a big sac like structure which is formed amidst the nucellus region. Thank you. Please visit www.examplio.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.